All right, hello, watch fam, and welcome back to Jimmy Time with your boy Jimmy. Thank you for clicking on this video. As I promised in the last video, I wanted to talk about a watch that I've had in the collection for about three months, and I have not had a time to do a review, and that is what Oris calls the rubbish watch, the Oris Upcycle. This is just an incredible watch that I had. Been thinking about adding in the collection for a long time, and I finally got an opportunity to add in a collection. Before we dive into the full video, I uh, just want to do a quick wrist check. I am wearing my Seiko Olive Green Cap and Willard on this pretty school, cool uh, strap from the Strap Tailor. I really do like this yellow. Um, this is just a really cool combo. And I'll drop a link to that video review that I did for this one if you haven't already checked that out. So let's talk about the Oris Upcycle. We're going to spend the most of the time in this video talking about this magnificent dial. Secondly, we'll talk about just the, the overall finishing, the casing, the materials used for the bezel. And then the third thing we'll wrap it up with is my overall experiences of having this watch in three months and my overall wearability. Uh, I've not had a lot of experience with Oris. I used to own the Oris 65 Diver, and I've always considered the Oris Aquas. However, I'm not a big fan of the puck style divers, but I like the integrated look. And so, you know, to me, Oris is like the other integrated looking watch. Definitely has always been more on the affordable end, but Oris has been around for a really long time. And I was first introduced to them on the wrist of various Formula One race car drivers back in the day. Even a few NASCAR drivers, there's been a couple Yankee players that have done it. Oris has done some really, really cool collaborations. I love the Oris Bear. Uh, one of my favorite sweaters, as you can see featured here, is me and the Oris Bear. I just really liked it and I hadn't had... I had more Oris gear in my wardrobe than I actually had in my collection because I did not own an Oris. So this was a great opportunity for me to do that. Uh, Oris is a very active brand. They're definitely beyond the micro brand space, but they behave like a micro brand. Uh, they do a lot of cool colors. Uh, they're on the road quite a bit. Like I, I've not been fortunate enough to catch one of their bus tours, but I have a lot of friends that you know have met members of that team and they just talk about and rave just like how much they are appreciative and how they're in a community and they behave like a small brand at a lot of their their events but oris is continuously pushing the envelope uh they have a couple calibers now that are now completely in-house and one of the first things that attracted me to the brand was this really cool red rotor that were used on their uh eta models and now their salita models that to me, it was always a uniquely Oris. Uh, even if you look on their vintage models, you, you see that that red rotor that I think is really, really cool. So for me, this is the number one reason I've picked it up. And as I, you know, I've worn it quite a bit is because of this dial. Uh, when I first saw the Upcycle watches, and I want to say it's it's probably been three to four years, if not a little bit longer since Oris released these. I actually thought the concept was really cool. Uh, if you're not aware, uh, they create the dial by smelting down recycle plastic that they they recycle from the bottom of the ocean so when you're wearing this watch you're wearing a watch that is going to a good cause and because of the different materials and colors of plastic it makes these really unique dials and so no two dials are ever going to be alike which is really one of the most fascinating features of this watch for me so this melting process that ors use uh this, this creates these very unique dials I wanted one that was a little bit more tame. Uh, these can get pretty lavish where you get a lot of white, a lot of pink, a lot of different hues. And for what I needed in my collection and for what the variety that I was looking for, I really wanted, a, I still wanted a blue dial, but I wanted with something with a little bit of color. This one really just struck me. I thought it, it just looks really, really incredible. I love that it is primarily the navy blue, but then you have these little hints of purple, red, pink, and white that kind of makes the dial look a little bit marbled. It is a captivating dial that once you're looking at it, it is really hard to take your eyes off of it. I don't have anything in a collection like this, and I have a Alexander Shurikov crazy ball in the collection. If you look on the website, one of the ones that's featured is uh, it's a lot more white. They have someone with a lot more color. I find that the, the smaller versions seem to be a little bit more green in their coloration, so I don't know. Are they starting to take certain bottles and, and, and set them aside by size? But, you know, the 41s primarily is, is still more of the blue, the blue color. 
Next up, if you look at the, the hands, I actually really like this handset and I don't really know how to describe it. This, for me, I've only ever seen on the Aorus line and particularly the Aorus Aquas line. Uh, but this, the long hand definitely looks like a broadsword. We talk around broadsword hands a lot, but it is a very fat base that narrows down very nicely. And then the hour hand is short and stubby and follows a very similar shape, almost looks like a dagger. They definitely add presence to the dial and the thickness definitely helps with the legibility of the overall watch and the dial. You have pretty standard hour markers, so baton style hour markers with white strips and luminescence. Uh, I couldn't find particularly on Aura's website what's loom they were using the loom is beautiful and glows a dark or a very light like neon blue and i think again just really looks incredible is an, is an incredible dial for an incredible overall price so this this watch retails for just 2500 bucks if you are you know really looking to save a penny i'm sure you can find them on a gray market um for under 2000 you can probably pick them up used anywhere between 13 and 1700 bucks if, if not a little bit um, less depending on where you're looking the other thing any diver for me should have a lollipop second hand and this watch does and again in this package it does look incredible you know how much i love a lollipop second hand so this was another reason why the aquas made sense to add to my personal collection next uh standard text on the dial uh oris doesn't put any more any less than any other brand you have oris at 12 o'clock and then you have at six o'clock aquas with the Pressure resistance of 300 meters, which is just a little bit under a thousand feet. So I really do love that Oris chose to put the date window at six o'clock. That is my favorite position for a date window. I think it creates the most contrast and 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 balance. So that is it for a dial. A lot to cover because the dial is is such a key feature. It is really really beautiful. All right, so let's talk about a few of the other uh, features moving outside of the dial. So the version that I have is the Aquas, and this is the Caliber 400. It is 41 and a half millimeters, and I think this package is great. So 13 millimeters thick, which is standard size for a diver. That's pretty much in line with my Seiko, in line with the, the older model, Planet Oceans. They were actually 14 and a half, so this still comes in with a quite wearable 13 millimeters with a lug the lug width of 48 millimeters so that is going to accommodate pretty much any wrist down to six inches like it's going to be great wearability with this 41 millimeters i'm glad i chose 41 millimeters despite having a six and a quarter inch wrist uh i think because of the size that it, it, it does 41 is still a good size diameter but the lug the lug allowed this to be manageable 43 would have probably been too big for my style even though my wrist can definitely accommodate it 41 should accommodate a ton of different wrists and if this doesn't you can go down to the even smaller size they have a 38 and a half and i believe now they're making the aquas in a 36 and a half millimeter uh as well and then you have lug width of 22 millimeters which that's the lug the, from the actual lug measurement and lug measurement, if you were actually shopping the strap, the in between is 11 millimeters. If you were going to have somebody make a custom strap and needed to know what pin to get there, that, that little piece is only 11 millimeters. Uh, but 41 and a half, again, a really great package with 300 water resistance. I love this particular um bezel so i am usually not a big fan of silver bezels but they're something that's been growing on me quite a bit lately uh omega has the not i don't know i'm not even going to try to pronounce it uh but they have the uh omega with this the stainless steel bezel with the black dial that i think looks great i think it commemorated one of the olympics this one here another stainless steel bezel i've been looking at the stainless steel or the platinum bezel yacht master particularly the one with the gray dial and the blue accents so this is a look that's really starting to grow on me and i was glad i was able to experience that with the oris usually dial our bezels are black or some type of color it's a stainless steel case with a ceramic miniscale uh it, it's again it's an incredible package you get a sapphire crystal domed on both sides anti-reflective you know how i feel about anti-reflective on the outside but it is what it is it's at least done on the inside hopefully that should hold up really really nice it does allow the watch to photograph really well without a ton of glare and i think just the, the picture quality on this has turned out incredible the case is very very well finished you have a combination of brush finishing with high polish on the facets that gives the watch 
give it that that high end luxury look. It it definitely looks and punches a little bit above its weight class. I was expecting it to show and feel a lot more like the sixty five diver, and I will tell you this: the three months that I've had it, it is a lot more of a luxury wearing experience. Uh, this is a, a really really incredible watch at an incredible price point. I really love the unique crown guard on this. It looks like if you had a special tool, you'd be able to pop these off. But it definitely adds to this rugged look and gives it more of like this, again, a watch that can actually handle diving in the ocean. You you can literally wear this watch or anything. I can wear it with jeans. I can wear it with a blazer. I throw it on a leather strap. It's just overall an incredible, incredible looking watch. The bezel action, really crisp. Think in terms of these... Tudor Black Bay 58 has a very, very similar action. And again, this particular package is a little bit, quite a bit cheaper than what you would get a Tudor Black Bay 58 for even on a used market. Um, just an incredible price. The other thing I really like about the bezel is that it's completely loomed as well. Uh, so that is just a, a really great touch and a really great way to execute on the small details. Lastly, the bracelet is really, really incredible. So I wish it had a micro adjustment that it, had, it does have three micro adjustments. I wish it had a quick release micro adjustment. So many of the smaller brands are doing that now, but I'm not going to nitpick it too much beyond that because the double action to point class do really feel substantial. Uh, it clicks really well. I don't feel like it's going anywhere. It feels solid and robust. Grand Seiko could learn a few things from this Oris class. It, it just feels really well executed. And then the bracelet overall is just stunning. You have these, high polish on the outside um the outside links i guess you would call this an h link bracelet and you get the high polish on the outside and the matte finish and the matte brush finish on the inside just really adding nice contrast to an overall amazing package this is not the integrated watch people talk about a lot but if you're looking for an integrated watch look that's not the typical ap or padded look I mean, give Oris a look. It, it's definitely not a clone. They're not trying to be a Gerald Genta clone. The Aquas, I find to be really unique to them. And they are one of the few watch brands that I know that's doing puck style watches. And this is a puck case. And it looks really, really incredible. Uh, because of the case design and the kind of almost lugless design, the way that they do the lugs, you can accommodate just a lot of different wrist sizes. And it is just, again great wearability extremely comfortable and not a watch that you know i have to be too worried about banging because it is upholding really well i have some desk diving marks on the class but outside of that um the watch is upholding really 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 well and i've worn it you know probably a dozen times in the few months that i've had it because I, I really enjoy it flipping the watch over um Nothing super spectacular with the movement. A 41 hour power reserves, or this is, this is their 7331, which I believe is a Salita SW200, uh, where they modify the date and move it at six o'clock. So that's pretty cool. Again, Oris do have their own in house caliber. I believe that's the caliber 400 or 4000. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but they do now have in house calibers. They even have one in seven days. So just because this particular watch is not using one of their in house movements, it should not speak to the 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 manufacturing capability of Oris, they're doing some really, really great work. I'm not sure if I'm assuming they're making a lot of their cases in manufacturing, because again, a lot of these things I've only seen unique to Oris. This is a really, really great watch. If you've been on the fence for Aquas, I would definitely tell you to get to an AD, get to a jewelry store, try one on. They wear really, really well. Uh, and if it's in the budget or in the cards, you're looking for something with a pop of color, look up the upcycle line, something that would definitely be unique without breaking your bank too too much oh last thing two-year warranty if you buy it there you can actually extend that for free to three years through order so it is great to see manufacturers starting to get out of that two-year bump particularly you know that we spend quite a bit of money on these so i do appreciate getting the extra year from orders i think that is all for this particular video uh as always i want to Thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for anybody who's subscribing. Um, if you like the video, please share it with some folks. I want to continue to grow the channel. If you don't know, I started another YouTube channel called Walk and Chalk with Jimmy, a little bit more aligned with what I do on a day-to-day -day basis where you know I help in upcoming leaders uh, really focus on spreading positivity. Um, so if you like what you see here, 
want to change subjects a little bit, please go ahead and hop over there and, and, and go ahead and follow the subscription. I'm pretty sure there's something positive that you'll be able to take away. I really want to start this army of joyful warriors where we're just spreading positivity everywhere we go. Uh, you might have noticed my T-shirt. This has been one of the other things that's kept me away from this channel a little bit. Uh, we officially started our, our, our website and we are now live. Uh, we're giving a, an amazing offer to the first thousand agents to sign up. This is a great great service that we've created that's really going to change the way uh, agents and customers work together, really hopefully reducing the cost for everybody involved, particularly for consumers, but more importantly for agents, uh, some of the fees that you guys are having to pay if you're a real estate agent, it's really, really insane. We feel there's a way that we could win, you all can win and everybody can win and we can really bring the cost down and, and put more money in people's pockets to make home ownership a little bit more affordable. So if that sounds interesting, check out Cordium.com. I'll drop the link here. Uh, super excited. So a lot of my videos, you might see me wearing this as well. That is it. Been really, really busy. But thank you for hanging out with me for another video. I will see you all soon.